Hi guys, so it's Sunday morning and I thought I would do a little update. I've done quite a few TikTok updates but I uh, haven't done one on YouTube in a little while or I have recently but about my audiobook. So there are big things happening with this series right now and that is what I'm excited to talk about. So Still Princess is a futuristic YA fantasy book. It has robots, it has a kingdom full of robots or a queendom because it's an evil queen on the throne um, who is a robot. Her entire kingdom or queendom are robots. Um, no motion, you know, very much. A, it looks like a utopia, but it's not. It's ruled by robots and only the rich, rich people are able to have the things that keep people functioning. Humans are hunted. Um, and then you also have the magical kingdom, which is like the enemy to the Steel City, called Paneria. So in this book, you have two different adventures. You have the magical adventure, where one of the tinkers that's trapped, has always been trapped as a prisoner in the palace, building the robots and repairing them or whatever. Um, he ends up going off on a sea adventure when he gets kidnapped by pirates. Um, and he goes looking for his family, but he he does actually find his family, just not in a way that he expected. And then you also have Silver, who is the main character, the Steel Princess. She is a teen robot um, who has been raised by humans, and humans are hunted. They're set basically living in hiding from the royalty um, because they'll be used for they'll be enslaved for by the robots basically. So. It's a bit of a futuristic situation, like the situation that we hope never happens when we have so much AI and technology and everything. Um, and all these things keep happening in the news and I'm like, I really hope the world doesn't turn into that part of my book. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is the main sort of concept for the book. Book two is coming. Book two is called Songbird Air and it is from the perspective of more so of the perspective of a character in Steel Princess that really stuck out to me and her name is Adelia. So if you've read it you'll know what I mean. Um, but she is a pirate princess and she has her own stuff going on so she will have her own story and then you also still have Silver's story continuing in, continuing after the end of this book um, where she goes off to save Elijah who is her love interest from book one um, to save his sister who's been kid like trapped and held captive by a different queen. So you have two and um Adelia has to find the siren queen in this one. So you have two brand new queens coming in in book two. Um what's exciting for me to share is that the audiobook for this one just came out. It is on Audible, um if you are interested. Uh the narrator is a lady called Colleen Arnold. She did a fantastic job um because there's lots of characters there's lots of creatures there's like mermaids robots pirates sirens the whole whole lot it's a big world so she did well because she had to do a lot of different voices basically and a lot of different she did quite a few different accents as well which was really good and she made the men sound like scary and you know the little kids little girls um there's like a little girl she's a robot that she's um she looks like a fairy and she has a really sweet voice. Um, yeah, so she did, she did all the voices, like, really, really well. Um, with this book, there's also some, like, virtual reality scenes. Um, and it's all about, mostly, like, the friendships between the characters. Because Eden, who's the one that gets kidnapped um, by pirates, um, has ended up developing his own little friendship group. And Silver goes on her like journey with her friends that she's had from the beginning so you have the two little f different friendship groups kind of and um all of their reactions to everything that is happening were quite fun to write so they have a lot of like back going back and forth between each other which is really fun and she narrated that really well so obviously props to her um and then the other big thing that i have to share is that book two this is all happening at the same time, by the way. Um, book two now has a cover coming very soon. I've seen it. It's beautiful. I have shared, like, a snippet of it. It's on my Instagram, which is 
April Grace One, and my TikTok as well, um, where I've I've shown a little bit of the typography and a little bit of the castle, which there is another castle. Um, there's a bit more colour in it, so yeah, I I won't share too much, but the cover reveal is coming on March eighth on my Instagram, so that'll be Friday next week. Um, and yeah, so the audiobook is out now, and then the cover reveal very soon so exciting and um then book two is going to my editor in 10 days no nine days now it was 10 days yesterday when i was looking at it um but yes all exciting things happening so hopefully once i've got um my edits back which will probably take a little while but you know i can get the ball rolling on this book as well and um get it out there for you so you can read the sequel which I've really really enjoyed writing I have some like developmental stuff that I want to try and get done with it but it is good it's good fun and I'm enjoying going back into the characters world again and um, writing them and um, yeah <laughs> so yeah please do check out the, the audiobook if you love audiobooks fantasy books and check out for my cover reveal which is coming soon.